some of it. garden herbs and more. The more this time is Azure Standard. A lot of you like to see what I get in my Azure Standard hauls, so I was going to show you what I got this time. So here we go. First of all, there is a big old case here of apples. These are Fuji apples and they're nice and cold because they have a refrigerator and a freezer on that huge big truck of Azure standards and they bring they can bring frozen foods they can bring cold foods and keep your apples cold and crisp mm. 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 that's good <laughs> just wanted to show you how good and crispy I knew it would be when I bit into it because they're nice and cold Let's see what all I got. All right. This, yeah, I can actually buy some of my herbs from Azure Standard. This is originally from Oregon's Wild Harvest, which I have bought herbs from Wild Harvest before. But it's nettle and it's cut and sifted. It's organic nettle leaf. So I got a whole pound. I go through... This is probably my year's supply for the next year. I do do quite a bit. Nella is an excellent, excellent herb for you. Lots of vitamins and minerals. It's good for your hair and your nails and your teeth. Um, I often, when I'm worried about that particularly, I'll add horsetail with it in making a tea, and I'll add a little bit of peppermint to flavor it, give it a little more flavor. And um, there's a lot more. Um, about nettles, they're one of probably one of the most nutritious herbs that there is. I mean, nettles are just absolutely wonderful. And I've grown a lot of my nettles too, and I have videos on nettles. But anyway, right here it's so hot and dry where I live. There are actually some little tiny ones coming up out in a couple pots I have, but I don't get much and they don't get very big. It's just not a real good area for, say, like maybe a, a real rainy area like Washington or something would be a better place to grow them. So I don't get enough, so I order, order these also. Okay, let's see. What else did I get? Okay, this is whole milk powder organic. Yes, um, it may get more difficult to get milk. And I wanted to have this. Um, this is from the Azure Market directly. Now, they carry other brands, but this one is their brand. And I'm anxious to try it. It says, to make one gallon reconstituted whole milk, mix four and a half cups whole milk powder with seven cups of water that is not too cold or hot. Mix with a wire whisk until blended, then add an additional eight cups of water and stir. Refrigerate before serving as a beverage. And that will give it time to kind of meld in there and, and reconstitute letting it sit back and everything. But in the refrigerator and it'd be nice and cold. I probably won't make a gallon at a time because I don't go through it that fast. But I'm real anxious to try this, their brand and the whole milk powder. They say it tastes much, much better than your uh, non-fat milk that you, dry milk that you get out of the store. So I'm going to taste it and see. We'll see. But I got some of that. Actually, there's quite a bit here. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. I got these last time, a couple months ago, the jalapeno nacho slices, and they were so good. It's the La Preferida, P-R-E-F-E-R-I-D-A brand. They are really good, and they're organic. That's what I really like. It's hard to find organic jalapeno slices in the store. And these are really good. Now, these are the mild ones. They're not the super hot. But they have such a wonderful flavor. So, I talked about them before a couple months ago when I got them. I still have some. I 
thought I'm going through them pretty fast. So something else that I got was Rob Brazil nets. These you get selenium from. I try, I'll go for a while and have one or two nets every day, and then I'll skip maybe a week or two and kind of forget about them. And then I'll go back to take them again because it only takes one or two nets to get your day supply of selenium from them. What a wonderful way to get your selenium. Plus, you get other good nutrients, too, out of your Brazil nuts. So, yeah, I will probably um, take a few out in a smaller container and then put the rest maybe in the fridge to keep them fresher longer. Although, let me explain something about refrigerators. Nowadays, when the old days, when we had the kind of refrigerator that had the the freezer at the top that you had to defrost, it would just get thicker and fuller and fuller until it was just full of ice. You had to defrost it every now and again. Well, now we all have these refrigerators that defrost itself. The problem with that is it dehydrates everything in the refrigerator after a while. So right now I'll probably just keep these nuts in a cool room, but come the hot summertime when it's really, really hot, I'll have to put it in the fridge for a while. Um, but I hate doing that because the, that refrigerator does dehydrate everything. It, I had some pecans in there in my refrigerator, and it really just dried over time. I mean, it takes time. It doesn't do it right away. But I keep some of the, I get like a year's supply of stuff sometimes, or maybe not a whole year, but several, a few months anyway. And uh, it's in there a while. <laughs> but anyway, I got Brazil nuts. They're really good. Okay, so what else did I get? Well, I got this a couple months ago too, and that is my organic short grain brown rice from Lundberg. Oh, so good. I used to work for Lundberg, but I talked about that in my other video. Okay, now I got 32 ounce jar of apple cider vinegar. Yeah. And I got, now these are kind of interesting and different. These are dried cranberries, but they're infused in apple juice. So, they may be dried, but they feel very tender. They are, I mean, they're dried, but they also are, are tender. And just, I can tell they have a little bit of something else, in, which is the apple juice, which should sweeten them up a little bit. So I'm excited to try some of these. Ought to be really, really good. Nice, solid boxes. Okay, then something else that I absolutely love. And um, I'm trying to see if they have a picture of it. Apparently they don't. Let me open this up. Okay. These are really great when you're in a hurry and you just want something and they're good for you. This is McDougal, McDougal's, it's vegan ramen chicken flavor made with organic ramen. And uh, you can add chick, real chicken to it or meat to it if you want, or extra veggies you can dice up real small and steam and add with it, but you might have to add a little more salt or flavoring. I add a little more salt to it anyway, my um, pink salt. So my Himalayan pink salt. But yeah, I like to add and do things with my food, but the basics of it is I just eat it by itself with some salt a lot of times, but um, it's wonderful. It's really, really good. Uh, great for a quick snack. But that's pretty much it this time. Now, there was a couple things that I got that I ordered, but I didn't receive. One was grapefruits, and the other was cumin a hard time finding cumin organic cumin anywhere um, they had it and I ordered it but they ran out before my order shipped so that happens sometimes last time when I ordered in November I ordered the Fuji's and they had ran out but I got them this time so there's just a lot of people ordering for manager standard because they are really a wonderful company um, yeah, I think that you'll enjoy their food. Okay, now some of you, if you want to stick around to hear the prices, I'm going to go ahead and give you the prices on this because some of you may want to know what that is. 
just understand this is really good food. It's organic and it's um, high quality food. So it's going to be a little bit more than a secondhand store or something that you go to. Or just your junk food out of your box stores and stuff. It's going to, but it's worth it. It really is. Um, if you can, if you can do it. And, um, okay, here we go. This is a 20 pound box of apples and they are so good. <laughs> and it is $35.50. And, okay, and then that 32-ounce vinegar, that is $4.40. Your case of the McDougal, McDougal's Ramen, those little cups that I was showing you, they're $11.18 each for each case. Okay, the cranberries that were um, infused in apple juice, those were $8.29. Um, my big bag of nettle, stinging nettle, that was $25.94. The um, nuts were $16.15. And if you get the three jars, 11 and a half ounce jars of the jalapenos, those are $8.64. Okay. And then the two pound bag of rice was $4.81. And that whole milk powder was $14.83. So that's the prices on those. I just wanted to run those by for those of you that wanted the prices on that. I think that um, Azure Standard is a wonderful company. I like to support our companies that are here in America. Um, these are good people. I followed them. I, I really enjoy what I've read about them on their uh, site, the Azure Standard site. Um, they have different blogs and things that are really fascinating. Um, I am an affiliate with them to sell, and it helps me out a little if you want to go through my link and order if you've never ordered or you're not ordering through someone else. Um, and down below in the description underneath here, I have my link. Um, you go to that and then there's a little box that'll pop up and I've got my code down there that you put in that box when you go to Azure Standard. Go to the link. But anyway, that's up to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you saw some goodies and that you might be interested in and we will catch you all next time. Bye now.